Okay, making a, uh, a rounded lid is very similar to the way we've made the rounded bottle. We already looked before at making um, um, square or rectangular type lids. We'll create a new, uh, new um, file here. So we'll go into new. Once again, I'm going to choose a standard millimeter part. There we go. I'm going to create a new sketch. So from my surface here, I'm going to choose that. I'm going to draw myself circle from the center come out to maybe uh, 25 mil or something like that press enter finish my sketch I'm going to choose my extrude tool there's my extrusion it's going up 10 mil at the moment I'm going to take it up to about uh, maybe 18 see what that looks like yeah choose that one now the same way if I'd have wanted to make this on an angle I could have used the loft tool as I did with the rectangular one, but I'm going to keep it with this extrusion for now. Um, I'm going to put a screw thread on it, so I'm going to choose the bottom, so I'm going to flick it around to the underneath, and in here I'm going to choose um, to make a hole. This is a different way of doing it. I've right clicked instead. I could have gone up to the menu up here. There's lots of different ways of doing the same thing. This time I'm going to choose concentric, so it'll find the middle for me. Anything in a circle can be concentric, so it will find the um, absolute middle for me. I need to tell it the plane I'm using, which is this one. It doesn't know exactly where the center is, so if I tell it it's a concentric reference and I choose the outside edge, it then pops it right in the middle. I want to go, again, like I did last time, go for a screw thread. I'm going to choose the type, which is the same as the bottle, which was the uh, metric one, and size 12, which is the same and then I just need to tell it the depth of the screw thread so I'm going to go down this time I think for 10 mil and I'll make the uh, bottom flattened off uh, which is this one the drill point flat and I'll make that 10 as well so that screw thread is the entire distance of the depth of it and I'll tick on there and again I can't see it at the moment if I tilt it slightly I can see that So this is the underneath I'm just going to put a chamfer on this inside edge to make it a little bit easier to locate. That's too big though. So again, I'll try 0.5. That looks a bit nicer. I'll flick it back over the other way because we're on the bottom at the moment. So we can come up to the top. Now I might want to do something on the top. Perhaps I'll put some text on the top. So I'm going to create a sketch new sketch so again I use the right mouse click technique there instead of using up coming up here I'm gonna go for text click in the middle I don't need to go onto a work plane now because this is a flat surface I'm gonna type something in the name of my perfume if I wanted to do that I will choose a font size maybe size 5 mil for this uh, no maybe a bit bigger we'll try 8 and see what that looks like okay that one's a bit nicer we'll go for that one click OK Okay, that is too big, so I'm going to go back in and edit that in a moment. Click on my, um, put that back the right way around. I'm going to go back into my text. I'm going to edit my sketch. Make that a lot smaller. We'll try maybe um, four mil instead. Say okay. And I can position that, finish the sketch, move that into the center. I can still see the center dot roughly. So I could actually center this with tools if I wanted to, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it by eye. Um, I'm going to choose to emboss now, and I'm going to emboss the text. And I'm going to make it this time be cut out from it, it's going to be engraved. Now if I move this into a three dimensional view so we can see a little bit better what's actually going on so I want it to be going into the face because it's engraved out depth of one mil is fine and I'm going to say OK so that will cut out now you can see there from if I put it on an angle it's cutting that out and maybe just to tidy it up I might put something around the edge of here so I'm going to go for a fillet on this edge just to make that look a little bit tidier and finally I might change the um, material for here so I'm going to come in and I'm going to go for the properties same as before go for the physical change it from a generic 
and we'll maybe see what some of these plastics might look like nope don't like that at all that's a transparent one we'll look at stainless steel that's quite funky so I think we'll go with stainless steel for now close that down if I click off it you can see the reflections as we had with the um, the gold one okay that'll do for now I'm going to save that and I'm going to call that um, stainless steel lid okay and 